Hi everyone, welcome back. I hear, is that you? I can't tell if it's Chipper down running up the steps. Um, I wait my hair. Okay, I don't know why, I'm out of my element. I don't like any of this, okay. Welcome back. It was one of those days where it was shower or film and we decided to film, so just just disclaiming. Um, we're gonna be testing out some new face products today. I'm super excited. Um, and one thing's like a repurchase, um, the butter bronzer, and I haven't had that in a while, and I know I kept saying I wanted to pick it up, so I'm super excited, but we just got some drugstore goodies. Really just do like a face. Maybe a full, not, I don't have concealer, but for the most part, I have everything else, so I'm super excited. My eyes are going to be something else. Separate vid, if you catch the drift, but. Um, so I went to Ulta and Target yesterday, and I picked some stuff up. So one thing I've been meaning to try is the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Uh, I keep talking about my Becca shimmering skin and saying I wanted to try a drugstore dupe, and this was one of the ones I really wanted to try. So, super excited. This is a really nice glass bottle. It was, um, I think, $12. It has a pump, which I don't know why that caught me off guard. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. So, I will need to put, I'm going to put um, a pore primer on as well. Seeing as, like, with my shimmering skin, I don't just use that as a primer. It wouldn't make sense for me, but it has a real nice glow. It sinks into the skin fast. It has a smell, but not like a strong one and not one that I can clearly see. Like, on my hands, even. It's shimmery, may, I might say sparkly, not like, yeah, it's kind of sparkly, but it does give a very nice dewy finish to the skin, so I'm going to take, and this is just separate, I'm going to take some of my um, no pore bone primer, which I'm almost out of. And I just like hit the nose, the lines, and then I'll hit the forehead and chin. So the next thing I picked up was also from Physicians Formula, and it's the Healthy Foundation that um, I feel like I've heard so many people talk about, and I really wanted to try this. Um, I'm super concerned about the shade, so I got LC1. Um, and then the next one up, at least at my store, was LN4, which LN4 had the slight, like, olive undertone I wanted, but it seemed way too dark for my face, especially. Maybe more so for my arms, because, again, I feel like my arms and my face have a different undertone. Um, so I'm hoping this works out. So nice big doe foot applicator. This reminds me of the smell of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which I hate. Which I don't know, have people mentioned the smell of this? Um, that's a nice bottle too, even though I usually, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about doe foot applicators. No problem with them when they're in concealers, but as far as like all over my face, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I picked up another Morphe sponge because Chip chewed mine, and I was enjoying it. Oh, this was with um, one coat of that foundation. It really does. I feel like I'm looking at my face and I feel like I didn't put anything on, even though I know I did. You can definitely still see all of my spots and whatnot, but I guess it actually matches like probably perfectly what my face color actually is. Um, I almost wish I could have bought the two and mixed them, but then that seemed like, I didn't even know if I'd like the foundation in order to do that. Um, so I don't know if you can even know, like you'll see my neck is pretty pale. Then when we get around here, I start getting that um, all over, like more tan undertone here, which my face doesn't have. I always say like my body's Italian and my face is Irish. 
because I'm 50-50 and I, and I feel like that is where I struggle with. Um, but I do think this foundation shade matches just how my face is with maybe a little bit um, of a cooler undertone. So for concealer, I'm just going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and then the Catrice for lightening and brightening. So I ended up picking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I got this in Fairlight. If you've seen maybe an earlier video, I had picked this up originally in light and it was so dark. It was never going to happen. So I even looked at just, oh, this is fair. I looked at fair light and it still looks too dark. So I got fair. I'm super excited to like finally get to try this for reals. So I just use that to set my concealer areas. And I like it. That's obviously much more the right shade for me. I feel like this foundation shade though is super too light. Maybe once we bronze it up, it's just, if you look at like my chest areas where it's the Maybelline Fit Me, um, this is like their press powder. So this is in 120 Classic Ivory. I like how this matches found Asian chains, or at least it seems to, because I know 120, which is what I use in the wintertime, is, I think, classic ivory. So I want to get this, and I'm actually going to try, this isn't something new, taking that in my sponge and patting it in the areas, instead of taking the translucent powder in these areas, I want to take the sponge and see. This, like, powder is super soft, and again, it is very, very light. Um... My face is so light. I look pretty powdery though right now. So something else I picked up, I picked up another Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I just always like pick one up now, especially if I see they're in stock. So I have the Butter Bronzer, which we love. We know her well. So I just get the shade Regular Bronzer. They did have light and deep. Um, deep might be something that I need to try in the summertime but this is like a great bronzer shade for when i am this pale and to just warm up my face because now i feel like there's not as drastic difference between my like the lower neck area there's this hair but whatever so so something new i picked up that i actually wasn't even expecting to do but it was five dollars so i kind of had to had to <laughs> wanted to this is the ColourPop brow boss this is in the shade ash brown and it seemed to be a good fit i tried it on my hand which doesn't say much and it was good so so this is now with brows on i really like this pencil a lot more than i thought it was i thought someone i had heard someone say that this was too creamy or creamier than like an ABH. I thought this was like very um, reminiscent of my ABH brow um, whiz, which is my favorite. And I actually thought this was like, like I like really how I shaped both of these two today. Usually I'm always frustrated with this brown. I wasn't at all. I mean, I really like this, but I think I'm gonna do um, I'm actually going to like film this over maybe like a week or two where like I'll wait like so you're not going to get this video yet and then I'll come back at the end of this video in a week or two and talk about some of these products too since I know it's kind of unfair to do just like a first impression and then follow up the videos are nice but like I kind of want it all in one. I mean I think I would. So this is me reacting to it the first time and then we'll see if I feel the same way in like a week or two but right like I really like these brows okay so at this point what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna because i don't have any other new products right so i'm gonna go finish my face for a different video i'm gonna go do something with my eyes i'll come back here to like talk about how things are looking then but then we'll like wait a week or two so okay all right I'm back on now because i completed my other look which halfway through i just really gave up Things weren't working at this point. This video is posted now. 
just wasn't your girl's day. It's okay. We're living, we're learning, we're moving, we're shaking. Um, I will say my face feels a lot drier than I thought it would be. Um, I know I went in with a pretty decent amount of powder. Um, like, I don't like how... I don't like how my face is looking. But I'm also, again, I just said... I'm in a bad mood now. So, that might be it. Um, I feel like when you get up close, my skin looks very dry. I think in, when I look at my mirror, my skin looks very good. I actually do like the coloring of everything. Um, I did really like that powder. I like the under eye powder a lot. Like the face powder a lot, even though my face is looking very dry. So I might need it to have to go in with more of a moisturizing primer. Um, since I just went in that with that spotlight one. Um, again, though, since this is a first impression, I'm going to keep trying it out. Maybe see how it works with different things or not utilizing all the new ones at the same time, which I understand too can be like, girlfriend, why would you do that? Um, this brow pencil though, so like that has been right now, that is my favorite thing that I've used. I'm real excited about that. So, okay, but keep watching and I'll come back a little bit with a different one and hopefully a better attitude. All right, um, so welcome back. This is now going to be about a month, maybe like a month-ish since this the first segment of this video. Um, I said I wanted to like try this out and then do my thoughts on it. It went a little bit longer than I had meant it to, but um, you know, life. So, okay. Um, my face is moisturized and it is um, primed. I just went in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer, which used to be Holy Grail, but it's a product I really like since the next product um, I'm going to go in with, I'll tell you my thoughts about it. So I got the um, Physician's Formula, the Illuminating Primer, and I got this because I thought it might be a dupe for my Becla Skinless, um, Skinless? Shimmering Skin Perfector, which I'm almost out of and I love. Um, I don't think it is, not that I would use this as a primer either, so I use this to mix in with my foundations or with really matte foundations to make them glowier. I do not feel like I like this shimmering skin. Um, I don't feel like I like this spotlight illuminating primer. I just felt it with age defining actives. That much, I have probably actually over the month not used that this used it that much because I used it a couple of times and wasn't really like didn't really like it. So for the factor of today, because I haven't done this though, I'm gonna put the shimmering Becca one on one side of my face face and then the spotlight illuminating primer. The one reason I'm hesitant on this too is because I feel like it probably does a good enough job to what my Becca does in terms of what I use it for um, because I shouldn't notice like a huge difference, but it's again, very different price points. The Becca one's probably like $38 and this is 12. So if this does like the same thing as my Becca one, why wouldn't I just be using it? So I'm gonna do this where I put the shimmering or the, oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna put the Physician's Formula on this side. Okay, so you'll see, it does give you like a really nice reflection. Um, what you can't see, and this is what I probably noticed more even though I'm not, it seems glittery on my hands. So it makes me think it's gonna be glittery on my face. Or yeah, if you get up like real close, it's glittery. Which is what I don't think this does. Like you can even see on my hands. So I'm gonna go on with the Becca, but my my Becca one one is like you know like hella hella old. But. Mm -hmm. So they are both kind of glimmery. I don't know if you can see. I feel like if you can tell, like I can tell in person, the shimmer the I don't know why I keep the in the spotlight. It's actually a lot more glowy, and maybe that's what's throwing me off from far away. This one's a lot more glowy, but you'll see both of them catch the light when you look. When you look up real up close, I will say, so my Becker, the Becca one is in opal, so it does have a little bit more of a tint, which you can see more up close. 
They both do when you get real close to have sparkle in them. I just noticed more of a sparkle within the spotlight. Um, but like as of right now, I don't think there's enough in it as a difference between the two to really be able to tell the difference, like why I would repurchase this one. I have mixed them both with foundation. And I obviously love this with foundation. And maybe that's where I'm finding this one. Um, lacking a little bit more. I don't like this in combination with the foundation, which I'm about to talk about, the Physicians Foundation. But that kind of might make sense for what that foundation is. But even though I think like in my mind that I'm like not a huge fan of this product, I do think it's close enough of a dupe to the Becca one that I probably, especially now that I have this, I won't repurchase, repurchase the Becca one. I'll probably keep this and use it for that intended purpose unless I really notice that this is breaking up other foundations. So... But um, again, I didn't really like fall in love with this, but I was like that with the Becca one at first too. I like have had that pro product for a while and didn't use it. So um, I just feel like this is glitterier. So next is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Elixir Foundation. This has SPF 20. Um, this is in shade LC1 and that's gonna become a huge thing. So um, people were raving about this foundation. I tried it and um, I, don't like it and I think a lot of it has to do with it. this color does not match me um I believe the C is for cool undertones which I am not unless I start getting a lot paler um I need a little bit of a neutral underton undertone in order to pull this off you may have noticed in one of my videos um the videos that's like how I wish I looked when I woke up I think I used this or something very similar to this and my face just does not match my body. It matches my face, but my body has such of an olive undertone that it does look weird if I just match my face. Um, it gets to the point, like, even if you're here, I feel like it doesn't seem like it would make a huge difference. And as soon as it's on my face, it's, like, very evident. So I'm going to go over. So I've been using this. I do like it. But I keep having to mix in other foundations in order to make it work skin tone-wise. At my Ulta where I got this from, there was nothing but like LC1 and then it went to like something M, so like medium neutral, like maybe MN4 and it was, that was way too dark. I did go to a different Ulta and I saw they had like an LN, so like light neutral too and I wasn't going to buy it because at $13, I have enough foundation, I'm not buying a second one just to mix these. So I'm going to go in though with just this foundation. Um, all over and maybe show you what I mean and then I might have to go in and mix um, so it is nice because it is kind of like a light coverage it does let the shine um, flow through which can some right now since it's winter time that's kind of fine for so it's harder to see I feel like because like the lights kind of wash it out but it's too pinky toned like, does it come across like you see I need to be this more tone not the dog keeps barking at it stop him so I have used this in conjunction with other foundations and I haven't seen any problem one of them um especially since I'm oily a good choice is my Fenty Beauty which has like my perfect undertone like neutral undertone I did not have a um I did not have a new concealer, so I'm just going to go in with some other concealer, and then we'll come back to set. Okay, so I just put a little bit of concealer on. Um, nothing crazy. So something else I got was the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, this is in shade Fair. I have had this powder before, um, I believe like last summer. Uh, maybe a little bit after last summer, because I got it in light, and it was way too dark for me. And I think it was, like it might work for me if I was tan, but it was not. So maybe it wasn't last summer. Whatever. Um, it did not. Mm-mm. 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 Um, so I've been using this powder. I think even in that first one, I liked it. But so this is one of those things where this powder is like hyped, 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 hyped. And I, I guess, didn't see like a huge huge difference in it um lately and it might just be like also my face right here 
as time goes on, like as time throughout the day goes on, I feel like this powder looked kind of cakey. Um, it's always like, here's the thing is I'm always like using things with different products, which also doesn't help. But um, I like this powder when it first goes on like here, like it, um, but I'm not sure about longevity. Like this compared to my Cody Airspun powder, I know some people don't, but I think I would still prefer that. This is great though for like matte girls. Um, so like as I put all those dewy primers on, you're gonna see a little bit still. Another thing I got was the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, like compressed powder. I got this in shade 120, which is another part of the problem. I like this powder a lot, but I don't know if you might be able to see. This is like too light for me. So I'm gonna go in with a uh, Kabuki and like press this around. Um, so this, trying out to do this and the fact that the other one was too light for me wasn't really working, but I wish they had this in 128, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, like go to shade. And then I think this would be extremely helpful because I like the coverage. I like the way this goes on. Like as you can see, maybe it doesn't look too... I hate how this foundation on my neck is. That's what I mean. That physician's formula. This is what would happen. I would be wearing it and it's mainly because like of my face. It's fine. But how much it does like contrast on my neck. This powder I'm going to be trying. I don't know if they just don't have it. Which would be weird because 120 is classic ivory in the liquid foundation. So I would think they would have 120. I just didn't see it. But. I do really like this powder. I was I like this powder over the loose powder in all honesty. It's just the fit me, the loose powder is when I get up close. But again, I should probably just be looking at all of it in general, be all of my powders because. So another product I had talked about in that um, haul was an oldie but a goodie and that was the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I just hadn't had in a while. It's magical. There's, I won't say much on it that I haven't already harped on. It's a staple um, in the way it shades and goes on. I just, this is in the regular bronzer shade. So next is one of my absolutely favorite products from all of this. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss. This is in the shade Ash Brown, which I would have to think it might be, like I could probably go for a little bit more dark and a lighter shade, but not if the next shade down is warmer. Um, I love this and I actually, for this is like five or six dollars. I've been obsessed with it. I haven't used my brow wiz at all. I'm not gonna say this is replacing my brow wiz, but brows are on again. I love that brow product. I would repurchase, I will continue to repurchase and I actually wanna try the brow gel now too because I think it's clear and I have the ABH one and I like it, but I've always said, even from when I bought it, I it was one of my Sephora like blackouts. Like, why? Maybe did I <laughs> buy that? Because it's I no brow clear brow gel is gonna be life changing. Some might stink, but I don't feel like they're, maybe I'm gonna be wrong. I do want to try the ABH brow gel, like the colored ones. Those could be life changing. So I think like the last product I have from my, like haul which I did not mention in my first one because I did not have it then but I bought it like a few short days after that and I, I hate it it's I'm actually not gonna go in with this because it won't last so this is the Milani most wanted lashes and I I think I had heard from Kathleen Lace that she had really really liked this and I do think it looks nice when you first go in with it it, for a fact, this was one that I've tried a few days. It has no mother effing lasting power. By the end of the day, it's just gone and it's kind of like gone like like underneath your eye a little bit. That was my biggest calling the fact that like, where, where did you go? Please don't come back home. Like it was just not there. I'm actually going to get rid of this product. So you can see it is nice, but it's not anything... 
It's not anything life changing. So I'm actually just going to hurry up and go through with my essence lash princess, which is what I'll compare everything to for the rest of my life. So, okay. I went ahead and I finished just like eyes. I'm just doing mascara and I went and put in some like blush and highlight. Sprawled my face and I'm not getting a lift because I'm going to the doctor and there's no need. Because I didn't feel like it. I haven't felt like lips a lot lately. I just want to let my lips live. But here we are. Here are like my reviews or my current update with those products. And this will be my last update um, with those products. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was a little bit um, informative for you. If you were debating getting any of these products, please comment, link, rate, subscribe. Please up thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Or as always, please just keep watching. And I will see you in the next one.